Yes, I'm extremely excited and I feel like all this excitement has been building up. Um, so now I'm just, I don't feel like I'm aware of it, honestly, until it happens. Like, I don't know, it's just so overwhelming. Do you have, have a you? family coming or just your, fam or just your parents? I have my parents coming and then I have my cousin coming. She's a freshman at Wofford and she's going to fly out here, you know, for a game. So it's going to be exciting. Can you just talk about the experience of deciding to come to the United States and then your sister getting her through the whole process as well. How scary was it? How scary was it for your parents? And uh, you know, how exciting is it to have your sister doing this? Well, I mean, um, I was lucky that I was in a club in Croatia that, you know, prior to me coming to America has also had a couple players that decided on that journey. Um, so I've had kind of a little bit of insight on you know what this is going to be like my best friend has also gone through this whole process before i did um so you know i had people that i can you know always turn to and ask questions and that can help me through the process um i had an enormous support from my parents that you know always pushed me to um just be who i am and what i wanted to do with my life and they were always there to support me and by my side um, it was scary. It was, you know, going into the unknown. It was overwhelming, you know, especially coming here to Yukon, you know, all these traditions, big names, um, history behind all of this. Um, but I feel like it was so worth it. And um, I'm so glad that I'm, you know, able to, you know, have this experience before my sister so I can, you know, share all of this with her and help her along the way. And, you know, now my little cousin is in the same situations and I, I, I constantly hear and see so many little girls from Croatia wanting to, you know, pursue the same thing, which is such an amazing opportunity and they can all do the same thing. And I feel like I'm an example of, you know, if you want to, you really can, you know, with a lot of hard work, a little bit of luck and, you know, just a lot of support. So. It means a lot to me and, you know, this upcoming week, I feel like it's going to be a little bit of a reward for, you know, the people around me that have been supporting me and have been by my side along all this time. So it's going to be interesting. Talk about the relationship with your sister. Your, your dad has said that you guys were like cats and dogs growing up and now yeah. I guess you have a tattoo of her name <laughs> yes. on you somewhere. Yeah, no, we were definitely, we are two polar opposites. I mean, the literally, if you can make a completely different opposite person out of me it's gonna be her uh, so it was it was but we're also so similar at the same time it's unbelievable but yeah we were definitely cats and dogs when we were um, young fighting a lot um, but I feel like since I've came you know to the United States since we kind of started that sister relationship long distance thing um, we've gotten so much closer and now we can't go without talking to each other every day on FaceTime so you know I feel like that distance made us so much closer which is kind of like a weird thing to say you know I feel like that would have you know distanced us but it definitely brought, brought us so much closer and I'm so excited to see her. What did you, what did you fight over? What do we fight over? Yeah. Anything you can think of. <laughs> I feel like anything, attention, just uh, competitiveness, playing games, whatever it was, we would always fight about everything. Well, I don't think, you know, she would have ever admit that she would lo look, you know, up to me and what I was doing. But um, it's interesting, a couple of days ago, like, she actually told me how, how, proud of sh how proud she is of me and how, like, for all these years she's been looking up to me and, you know, um, trying to copy everything I do and, you know, um, it was just, I don't know, it just means so much to me that, first, she's finally able to admit it, <laughs> but, but also that, you know, I feel like being a big sister is such a blessing and it's um, a huge responsibility and um, it's not also being a big sister, it's also being a best friend to her, which is hard to incorpor incorporate both in one, but um, I'm just so happy that, you know, I can call her my little sister and... I learn a lot from her too, you know, it goes both ways. I look up to her in so many other ways. Um, so yeah, it definitely goes both ways. So have you ever played against each other? We have never played against each other, except like one-on-one, -on -one, you know, yeah, outside. Driveway. Yeah, in the driveway. <laughs> but that was such a long time ago, I don't even remember that. But um, yeah, this is going to be the first official ever time we're going to play against each other. You know, I, know, I know a lot of times in other sports, brothers or you know, particularly, you don't, don't want to play each other. You know? Yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> a lot of famous pitchers who were brothers didn't want to pitch against each other in baseball. Venus you know, and Serena. Yeah. <laughs> do, do, you, do you have, is there any of that here, or are you kind of looking forward to playing each other? No, I cannot wait. Like, there is none of that. I can't wait. I'm sure she wants to win as much as I want to win, and it's going to be 
so hard to watch for my parents. I know they're gonna be over, <laughs> over there. It's gonna be so hard for them. But um, aside from all of that, winning and losing is just such a great opportunity, you know, to just experience this together, you know, for the first time ever. Uh, we're sharing this experience in the States and now we're gonna share one together finally. And, in, you know, share it with my family too, share it with my people here, with all of y'all, with everybody that's gonna come and watch. It's just gonna be such a full circle moment for me as a person. Will you trash talk in English or in your native? Oh, in my native, are you <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> I'm not trash talking in English, I have all my people there. <laughs> they better hear me. <laughs> Does an opportunity like this like help you reflect on just how far you've come since you got to UConn? Of course. Oh my God. I feel like ever since this game was set up, it's just been a whole journey of reflection and realizing, man, I'm a senior and I got here four years ago and it's already been four years and just reflecting on all the memories, the hard times, the good times, you know, times where I would call them on FaceTime, times where I didn't want to call them for a week because I was, you know, going through stuff. It was just, um, I don't know, it's just, I feel very blessed and very thankful for this opportunity for sure. I feel like I've grown the most in trying to understand what my weaknesses are as a person and um, accepting them and not, you know, running away from them because, you know, I feel like your strength is your biggest weakness too. So that's been so hard for me to understand, you know, how my stubbornness or like, we always joke about it, but like it is a weakness, but it's also strength or like, you know, the emotional aspect of all of that. That's all, you know, been a huge weakness as much as it, has, it hasn't been a strength for me. So just learning to control that, um, not just on the court, but off the court, like I feel like has helped so much for me. The younger girls in Croatia who want to do what you're doing, like, did you see a lot of that when you were over there? playing um, with the team, like people asking you for autographs and stuff? Yes, I mean, the outreach, you know, the people that came, it was far more than what I thought it would be. Um, I feel like, I think we had the most attendance in that gym ever, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, I saw so many young girls and so many young boys too, you know, which was amazing for Croatian basketball. I feel like over here in America, it's still like, you know, um, Women and men are coming coming to an equal a little bit, but in Croatia it's not like that. You know, women's basketball is very underrated. Uh, it's not it's not looked after the way it should be. So I feel like just seeing all those young girls and boys too at the game, it was it was huge for my country and you know that that little city and um, just for them see what they can do too. I feel like that's such a great step for Croatian basketball. Are you guys coming back for the holidays, or is this going to kind of be your holidays? Um, I think so. I don't think, I don't know where I'm going yet. So <laughs> I, I would love to tell you guys, I have no idea where, what I'm going to do this holiday. Yeah, you're celebrating <laughs> with your parents while they're here? Or? Yeah, probably. I feel like that's going to be the plan. But Are they staying for a while or just the week? Um, they're staying for the Ball State game and then they're leaving after the UNC. So they're going to see the UNC game too. Have you guys talked about the game <clears throat> at <Yes>. all yet? <laughs> yeah, we've definitely talked about the game. Um, <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's just been so funny. She's been so overwhelmed and excited, and I love that for her. And I, I can't wait to see her, you know, play for the first time. I've never even watched her play live, so this is gonna be huge for me too, just seeing her play. Um, and I don't know, it's just gonna be fun. We're gonna enjoy this experience, and you know, it's not gonna be just fun. We're gonna tr definitely try to win, but don't get me wrong, but um, I feel like just it's gonna be a great experience, and we're gonna have fun with it, so. I feel like, that's the only cards that we've been dealt with <laughs> since I've been here. I don't know any different, honestly. Um, so overcoming adversity is not, I would say, something unfamiliar for us. And just trying to teach that the young guys too, that you know, we just we just got to play Connecticut basketball. Whoever we have on the court, whoever we don't, um, we are not going to change a thing about us, about our ad identity and who we are on the court and off the court. So you know, just understanding that we're still, you know, basically the same team with the same identity with the same values um that we have to bring every day that's the most important Is part that coaches like overriding message to you guys basically? absolutely all the time even when everybody's healthy or when we have you know things like this happen the message is the same so what, what have you learned about texas what do you know about texas i mean i think they're a really good team obviously um they have a great defender point guard that they didn't have last year so they're a lot better than last year i would say um I feel like they're fast, they're aggressive. Um, it's going to be 
a really good game. I feel like it's going to be a good um, challenge for us and a good opportunity to bounce back, as you've said. Um, so, you know, we're preparing. We're um, going to be ready, and we're going to get out there and play. Have you figured out some things this week about how the offense can function without without the three-point threat that you're missing? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously a little more challenging and difficult. I mean, a little. It's a lot more challenging and difficult not having, you know, um, our shooters um, on the perimeter. Um, but, you know, we have guys that can shoot. We have guys that are a three-point threat. Um, so just building that confidence, instilling that, you know, you can do this in each and every one of us. But there's also, you know, other things that we can do outside of just shooting threes. So I feel like we can, you know, make up for everything.